Hey everybody and welcome. I am JD Ham and this is City Skylines. I've been seeing a lot of comments on Reddit, which I find myself diving into so very often <laughs> late at night when I can't go to sleep, looking at all the different City Skylines content and like what everybody else has done. And uh, I've been seeing so many comments on there about people wanting more city skylines on YouTube so I uh, I usually stream on Twitch which I haven't actually done in a while just because of some personal stuff but I'm gonna try and get back into it so but for this next basically let's play I guess is what we'll call it I'm gonna just upload them up to YouTube and see if we can get some uh, followers there see if we can get some people that watch that content so uh, if you enjoy city skylines if you want to see more if you want this to be a, a reoccurring thing which i hope that it will be uh you know smash that like button and uh we'll see you in the game so we're gonna start a new game uh, I do have a whole bunch of uh, mods downloaded and I'll show you basically what I'm using and what I do and uh, I've I've got a, a whole bunch of time in uh, City Skylines not as much as some but uh, definitely more than others and um, so I use a, a good list of mods but it, they're usually the pretty common ones so I'll uh, I'll put a list in the about section or in the comments below and uh, that way if you guys want to follow along or whatever uh, you can or you can if you see a mod that you really like you can so these are some of the maps that I've downloaded off of the workshop man lots and lots of great people that have been uploading stuff to the workshop so um, and lots of cool uh, maps to, to kind of play around with uh, I was thinking about doing a vanilla map uh, but I just I've been seeing a couple of people that have been doing vanilla maps so I'm, I'm gonna try and probably stay away from that and I found this map uh, I want to say it's this uh, Titi Lo Popo. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know why it just was funny to me. Um, I found this map and it's got like a bunch of cool bridges and some mountains in the background and a river. Uh, about six percent of the area is suitable for building, but it's got kind of everything here that we want. So I you know I figured hey we'll give her a whirl, see what we can do, <laughs> see if we can uh, build a build a city uh, here. Uh, it's picked Rockwood for us. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's change that. Let's change that. What should we name our city? Uh, I usually am pretty terrible at naming my cities, but I'm trying to be better. Uh, me, I am from Colorado, so I like uh, I like to, to do things that are kind of Colorado-esque. Uh, and I currently have uh, a, a beverage that's sitting next to me that's from Colorado that I, I quite like. I'm not going to say it because I'm not getting uh, sponsored, so uh, no shameless plug there, sorry. But uh, I'm going to name this town uh, after what this beverage is called, and if you know, you know. So let's call it uh, Avalanche. Avalanche. Okay, we're going to call it Avalanche Springs. Yeah, that's a S-P-R. It would help if you could spell avalanche springs all right we're gonna keep right hand traffic the same all right and let's get started uh yep we're gonna proceed and like i said uh the loading takes a little bit longer just because i do have a whole bunch of assets and you'll see on here um i actually just went through and removed a whole bunch that i wasn't using and i haven't cleaned up on some of the things so you'll see when it loads through here that uh it's going to show uh that things were missing uh so just give me a minute. I'll be right back once uh, we get this thing into it. All right. So I have to clarify a few things first and foremost. Number one, I think I need to turn this sound down. The ambient sound is quite loud. Uh, so I had to change a couple of things. Uh, number one, the the tito whatever map the tito we're gonna call it the tito map it, it just didn't really capture what what we were looking for uh or at least what i was looking for uh to do so um i decided not to do that what i decided to do it's called nornhaven 1.5 and again i'm gonna have a uh link and this is the other thing i wanted to clarify i'm gonna have a link to 
all of the mods that I'm using um, in the notes or in the comments, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and the reasoning behind that is because there's just so many of them, I couldn't list them all for the video. It'd just be ridiculous. So uh, this one has got a lot of flat area. It looks really great. We have like immediate access to our train, which I, I think is really, really helpful, especially if we're going to start building here and we're going to like make our way onto the other side of the river. And we've got just a lot of area to play with. Um, and you'll see in a couple of, a uh, couple of different times, you'll see like different uh, pop-ups that'll come up and I'll kind of explain them as we go along. I'm also going to kind of treat this a little bit like, oh, you might not have been familiar with city skylines. And so you might not know exactly what's going on. So if you do know, well then, hey, then you know. Uh, if you don't know, well then, hey, we're going to learn and uh, we're going to go through it together. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go on basically all the stuff that I have done in the past and the failures that I've had with my cities and hopefully we all learn from them. So with that being said, uh, let's just talk about a few things that might look a little bit different on my screen than what you see if you load into, say, for instance, vanilla. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of buttons down here, uh, including this this one right here. This is a, uh, um, basically, it kind of changes the way that everything looks. Um, and I'll, and I'll, I'm not going to list off all the mods, but I'll show you just kind of an overview of what these things are. Uh, so you can change basically different themes within this. So uh, if we wanted it to look like the, um, the Solara map, you can you can change that and you can see the colors kind of change the the temperature of the water change that kind of stuff uh, if we want it to be a little bit more tropical we can do that if we want a european theme you can see it changes things so you can just apply themes here and again i don't remember right off the top of my head what this uh mod is called but i will i will tell you there um so like for instance i really like this solera map uh theme um shout out to this uh, creative decks they've got really really get great maps that go along with this as well if you ever want to get into that so anyways so that's the themes button then we have a terrain button you can change what the terrain looks like with cliffs and sand and oil and pavement uh water you can tell what it looks like with water foam you can if you zoom in really close you see there's some foam up here and then just regular water down here uh, let's see here. We've got structures on what we want it to look like. Uh, this is the one that I usually use the most with is because I like my maps to be a little bit brighter so that I know what I'm doing with. And I also have the day night cycle turned off right now. Just makes it easier when you're building. Um, as we get further in, I turn it on and then you can see how the city lights up at night and, and you know, stuff like that. And I'll talk a little bit more about that once we get a little bit further so that you can understand what's going on with the city because I have some mods that also uh, kind of change the way that the city works at nighttime as well. And then weather. So say you do want weather, there's a, a little options checkbox that you can do on whether or not you want rain or I think they call it dynamic weather. You can turn that on or off. You can turn on fog and temperatures and all that stuff. Really, really helpful if you're in uh, like a winter theme and people don't have heat that can help you. Um, so there's that. And then if you want color correction right now, I've got the temperate color correction on. But if you do it like tropical, it kind of washes everything out because you think you're at the beach, boreal, um, you know, it just just kind of changes things. You can also do like some of these other ones that I've downloaded. And like I said, I'll have a, a link to all these in my my uh, uh, about this video or whatever. You can see like a rainy day. So uh, I usually like to just keep it on temperate to begin with. And then I play around with it, especially when I'm taking screenshots or whatever. And then you can make, you can like save it as a mix or you can go into a mix. I, I recently just got rid of all my mixes um, because I, I just wanted to kind of do a fresh restart. Uh, the other one is this. This is a, a unified UI. It's a mod. Uh, this one, it contains a couple of mods. One of the biggest ones here is Bob that I use. Adaptive Roads is really, really great. This grabber, it, it's experimental. I use it to kind of grab some objects if I'm trying to move them around. Uh, this intersection marking tool is great. Biffa did, if you have it, if you don't know, if you don't watch, Biffa makes great videos about mods. Um, just search for him, B-I-F-F-A, on uh, YouTube. Maybe if I say his name enough, he'll uh, watch one of my uh, videos here, and uh, that would be awesome. Uh, 
so he was talking about this. He also talked about the network multi-tool, uh, as well as the node controller renewal. Those are all great. When I start to use them, I will explain what they do uh, as best I can. But if you want a more in-depth, just go over to Biffa's channel. channel. Um, he's sponsored by uh, Paradox Interactive, so usually it's on the City Skylights homepage of Steam if you're using that, um, and you can watch that there. This is Traffic Manager, uh, President Edition 11.5.2 is the Stable Edition, so I'm not running the Experimental, you can, uh, but I choose not to. Uh, these are just different tools within it, I'll explain what all that means when we get to it. Uh, the other thing that are mods here, so I am not running the uh, Unlimited Ore or whatever, um, so my Oil and my Ore will run out. Um, this is if you want to place water move the sea level uh, this is a paintbrush so if you want to paint uh, different surfaces so it's the surface tool uh, this right here is a map importer button uh, so I you won't see me click on it, um, it, it just if I you want to import like real world um, maps that's that's how you do it uh, this is the Rico button and so like if you have, I have some ploppable Rico this is residential you can have high density commercial office buildings uh, farmland so if you want to you know plop these actual Rico buildings you can plop them and then they'll they'll go from there and you can see they have all different types here theaters and tourist destinations and resorts and mostly just are in this and then you can go into settings and you can decide whether or not you want them to have uh, Rico enabled or not. And we'll, I'll get into that later if I uh, start using that. This is the find it. So if I'm looking for something like a specific prop, this is really, really great. And then my vehicle options. This tells me like which vehicles are allowed in the game and which are not. As you can see, I have a lot of vehicles in the game. Biggest ones that I really don't like, uh, just for me, is talking about the buses. There are some buses that just, they don't work <laughs> if you're not, like for instance, the school bus. Um, sometimes they'll put a school bus on to your main bus line and so you'll see me go in and fudge with the uh, with the vehicle uh, options uh, for stuff like that I, I don't know why they do that uh, this is electrics road tools so basically uh, this allows uh, the, this is just more road issues um, this is my I also have first-person camera stuff so it's hidden all down here with so I just keep it down here hidden this is just for when I'm doing first-person drives around stuff like that uh, this is the uh, the I can't even remember the eyedropper tool so this tell this basically lets me choose something and if I if I've got it available to me it'll pop up in my find it uh, move it great great stuff here so like if you want to um, you know fine-tune your city this is a really really great mod and I would definitely look into doing it uh, then down here this is a prop it up tool so you, it lets you uh, you know do stuff with buildings props or trees so if you want to you know get rid of all these trees we can get rid of them if we want to change them we can do that and then this is the ultimate eye candy uh, I think this is a little bit of an older mod but I still like it because it kind of does the same thing that this uh, this mod does down here so it just lets you fine-tune a little bit more on your light and lot you know like where you want the Sun at so if you're looking to get like shadows you can see them changing and moving um, so I, I really like that and then you can see like I've got day and night disabled right now you can also you know figure, figure with the, the LUTs and weather that you have going on if you want fog or um, but that this turns weather on and off I've got it turned off right now all right so lots of talking lots of stuff oh last one hold on this is the cinematic camera so this is just a, a great little thing that lets you kind of do cinematic views over your city it's probably what my videos will uh, start opening with uh, and probably also what they'll close with so now that I've been talking your ear off for 10 minutes uh, let's start actually building the city huh so we've got uh, access right here that's coming into our city Hamilton Highway we've got a nice access road up here and I think I saw there's another one over here yeah so what my thoughts are is I think this area down here when we get access to it uh, 
is probably going to be our city center. Uh, I like the idea of having this big interchange. We can kind of change some trees out and, and make it look beautiful, but it kind of goes up and it's got stuff that goes over top of it. I think about big highways like in Texas and stuff like that that I've been on um, that have like multi levels and stuff like that um, being like in downtown and in, in like your big city centers or maybe like right outside of downtown. So my thoughts are this is going to be our downtown area. Um, lots of offices, maybe high density uh, residential and stuff like that. Uh, and then as we get further toward the river, we'll, we'll probably want to make this kind of an industrial area. That way we have access to the river. Um, maybe industrial will kind of be here and we'll kind of flow down the river down here and then we could do maybe some tourist stuff up here. Um, that way we can connect both industrial and tourism to the rail line and then we can bring maybe a train down into our downtown center area. I think that'd be really great. So that's what I usually try and do when I start a city. I try and like um, kind of just game plan on what we've got. Uh, I, I do like to leave things paused while I start building just because I'm not really sure on what I am going to do with the road layout here. Probably going to be something pretty basic. Uh, probably just start out. Let's go. So I know that up to this line right here, this this is uh, another mod here. Uh, this is 10 units from this point. So I just know that. So I just come here, I'll do four, that way I know what I'm doing. And then I'll come to, again, I've got a lot of mods on here and I'll explain them all, but this road, this is usually a pretty good starting road. And I just start kind of like right there and I'll just go maybe 40 units. Um, and I just want that centered from the highway here. Uh, let's bring this down maybe another five and then we'll take a one-way road and we'll freeform it five and five sometimes this can be a little finicky five and five okay so now we've got a good con like a good uh, connection to our road and we can get rid of this that way no one's like trying to stop right here and make a u-turn uh, they'll come up this way or they'll come right here and be able to do the u-turn there and as the city grows bigger we can change this into like a maybe a an intersection that's like here in our actual stuff or maybe we put a roundabout in later something like that but Right now, this will do just fine for us. We're going to start small. So for our industrial area, we want them to be paved roads. Let's go ahead and we're just going to kind of stick to a grid to begin with. It's the most most efficient. Uh, we're not going to go too crazy. We'll just kind of do some roads here. One of the things that I found is that if you, uh, if you have too many connections on your main, we call this like a, a main road or this feeder road, um, you're going to end up like having issues with traffic having a little bit of space between your your main like in and outs of your roads as well as kind of maybe like we'll do a, a feeder for residential coming out this way or we can go probably directly across from this but this four-way stop right here is probably going to cause some congestion later on as we want to build up our city but for now it should be fine there shouldn't really be an issue so uh for now and again like i said all of this stuff is really probably just going to get torn out and redone at some point but for now we're just going to do a little grid we're going to keep our uh residential here down by we're going to kind of build our residential toward the river uh and then we'll go from there i'm gonna uh put in now we got to worry about power so as you can see here along the river we're getting really good numbers sevens there was i think i saw a seven that was down here yep right there so I'm going to place that there. Um, we are looking for the blue. If you put it up here, you see you get like one. There's like no wind down there. We could probably do there. There's an eight that's out here. I have a mod on that lets me uh, plop stuff outside of my original boundary as well. So uh, again, just like I said, I've got a lot of mods. I'll, uh, I'll have a link to it in my uh, about me there. And then I, I like to kind of make sure that I'm doing things as semi-realistic as possible so for this uh just know just like in your you know actual city your water pipes and stuff like that are along the roads so i have a mod that turns the roads um, electric so i don't have to worry about running power lines um so once i start the 
the simulation, you'll see the roads will turn blue. That just is because I have that electric mod on that allows the roads to be uh, a power line, basically, because in a city, you're going to run your power lines underground as it is, unless you're way out in rural, and it just makes more sense to run them above. But we're not going to do that. So with that being said, let's get some uh, residential built in here. Uh, we're going to put some, maybe we'll put like a little business area like right there. And then let's put some, uh, some of our industrial over here. That way we're, uh, we've got some businesses in town for people to move into. And let's just make sure we got our water. Power will come on in just a second. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot is I, I like to use this inland water or this inland sewage, um, just cause I don't like pumping it into the water. So we're going to do that, and I think I'm going to put it, yeah, let's put it there. That'll be fine. So let's do that. Let's get a water tower. This would be a good area for it, like right here. People come into the city, they see that our water is, our water tower is right there, and bam. All right, so we should be connected to water and sewage there. Uh, so you'll see we'll have a negative value here pretty quick, but that'll go away as soon as we keep growing our, our uh, city there. So, let's run it. And here pretty soon, you'll see, we're going to have some, oh, there's, there they are. We got some residents coming in. So we'll run this for a little bit. I'm going to, gonna while that's building up, I'm going to continue to build this like I said, th this kind of grid, it, it works for, like, when you're building up a, a small little city, and realistically, if you think about it, most little ci most cities are built kind of initially on a grid. I'm going to go, let's go 15 on that. Come up to here. Kind of change things up just a, just a skosh. Yeah, go that way. 15 is kind of cool, kind of kind of changes things up just a little bit, kind of makes things look look interesting. So as you can see, uh, we've got really, really good buildings coming in here. Let's add some water. Again, like I said, I, I like to keep things kind of semi-realistic, so I'm going to keep them under the roads. Uh, because, like I said, if you're in a real city, that's that's where it's going to be at. They're going to be under the roads. That's how they're going to access them. That way you're not having to destroy a house or, you know, dig up, like, open field over here just to get to water. Oh, look, we've got some industry buildings coming in now. Those look really good. I really do love this game. I, I Like I said, I, I've been playing this game for a really long time, and uh, I, I really, really enjoy it. So this is the RCI indicator. That's residential, commercial, and industrial. Uh, I just wanted to talk about this for a second. This is a, a Demand Master mod by Kagami. Awesome, awesome mod. Great for if you're trying to grow your city really, really fast. I'm going to do my best not to use that at all. We're just going to run it like we would a normal way. But I... One of the other things it does is it has these numbers on it. So the numbers here are telling us how high our demand is. Green is residential, just like up here. Blue is commercial, just like here. And yellow is industrial, just like here. So right now we've got a pretty high demand for residential. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue to add some area here. And you can see our uh, zoning is a little weird there, but it's fine. Zoning's weird in real world. So we're just going to we're going to keep going. We're going to keep it up. Um, and you'll see that number start to drop, but you'll see the other numbers kind of start to, to bump up a little bit. We're just going to continue zoning this. Uh, I know a lot of people, one of the ones I, one of the guys I watch on YouTube is Conflict Nerd. Awesome, awesome, uh, uh, I guess you call him an influencer. I mean, great content that he provides, um, on City Skylines and, and other, uh, games that he plays too. And he calls this the battery. It's, it's, that's the big thing for him is the battery. So um, this is that's what this is kind of going to be. But like I said, after a while, once we get access, uh, once we, we hit our milestones, this is going to end up being our, our main uh, entry, our, our main city center will probably be down here. We'll have some pretty cool stuff around the highways. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll grow our industry out toward the river and maybe on the other side of the river as well. 
So, and as you can see, we're about, just about to become positive here, and that's what we want. That's our big thing first. So we still have a little bit of demand for industrial, and all of our industrials filled up. So let's go ahead and uh, plop some more zone here for it. So we'll do that, and we'll, uh, we'll just make sure, I, I like to make sure that I'm keeping zone off of the main road right now. Once it gets a little bit bigger, they, it, they, it's fine, you can put zoning on it. I just think it looks better if you have a little bit of a gap between that. Uh, plus it allows you to, to do other things with the road if we wanna add like stations along the road for tram or uh, monorail or something like that later on. That's that's something that, that gets pretty cool um, to, to see how that, that grows and stuff like that. So we're just gonna add that. We got some pretty high demand for industrial, so we're just gonna continue doing what we gotta do to make sure our citizens are happy looks like our <clears throat> people here got their jobs figured out i don't know if you saw it or not they were complaining that they didn't have enough workers but looks like we got plenty enough workers that each one now got some factories going up over here goods unlimited really really nice houses some I, I downloaded these the, this is part of an American um, uh, American eclectic theme I'm not the biggest fan of uh, trailers uh, in my my neighborhoods so usually later on when I'm doing like cleanup of my districts and stuff like that we haven't even gotten them yet but when I'm doing that I'll, I'll change like the themes and then I'll make it so that you can't have these in in the the game even um but they're just part of that pack that i downloaded so i i leave them for now it's fine it's not not hurting anything but when i start fine-tuning how my city looks and and how it operates i, I definitely like to, to get those out of there and being from the united states i i see a lot of houses and stuff like that that are like i guess you'd call them cookie cutter they're, they're all the the same type of houses um but they're they're all different you know and so I like that I like to see the same kind of houses in the districts and make it make it kind of feel like neighborhoods so our industrial demand went way down uh, we've got some commercial demand and we've got a really really high amount of uh, residential demand so uh, we're gonna continue growing this we're at 364 I think our first milestone is coming up should be five or 420 so we're almost there well we should hit that with maybe these uh, one of the other things that I should say, I just want to point it out, is if you are playing cities, skylines, and you are, um, you're like putting in neighborhoods like this, then uh, you'll see that like this households is going to be different than what I have if you haven't downloaded a mod called Realistic Population. So with this, uh, this Realistic Population, it basically tells you like how much uh, buildings are worth and, and kind of applies like a real world value to it. Oh, hey, we're a little hamlet. Uh, we got access to taxes and loans, garbage, healthcare, and education and campus areas. So we've got some clinics here. We got to worry about some some garbage stuff. Uh, looks like we've got some elementary schools that we can get into. Uh, so that's great. Our next one that we're looking for is 850, and then we'll get access to our first area. So let's continue. But anyway, so like I was saying, back to the realistic populations one. Uh, basically what it what it does is it assigns a, a number this is like m squared per person so meters squared per person and, and it kind of goes like that um so so yeah so let's just i want this to build up just a second and then we'll we'll go from there
Okay, so as you can see, we've got a, a really, really high demand for just about everything here. So uh, we're going to continue building this. And as you like, as, as you saw, like I, I'm just doing the grid right now. Shouldn't be a problem. We're probably going to need to extend our main road up. Let's make this a little bit bigger for the town so we know that we're growing now. We're, we're, we're what are we? We're not a worthy village yet. We're a little hamlet. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is kind of keep the spacing even. So if you look here, this is 30. So I'm going to come up to 30 again. Which I don't know why it's kind of stuck there. So if we go here, we'll come up to 30. just kind of do the same thing and the reason why I leave these uh, green spaces here is because uh, I, I'll end up adding like a path that'll walk through here that'll bring people out to the main road once we do have uh, some maybe like commercial district along this main road or some offices that are along this main road I want some paths here so that people can walk out so I usually end up just leaving that uh, it, it's absolutely entirely up to you if you wanted to like bring this in just like that you absolutely can that way that there's no break in it <clears throat> and I'll do that here and I'll just continue to grow this industrial area. I'll pull my water up here as well. As you see, we're still good. Uh, and again, we got some access to new, some new stuff. I like to use this uh, recycling center. Uh, it keeps my place nice and nice and eco-friendly. I like that. Uh, and then we'll let's look at where we're going to put this uh, uh, little clinic here. So, one of the things that uh, I like to do is, as you can see there, I, I have a nice long road that's going up here. Later on, I'll probably change this road into like a four lane. Not like this, but on one of these roads that's part of a mod is this, this small four lane road. It, it's for medium traffic. And the, uh, the big thing for it is that it allows traffic to get like all around. And you see how this is going to have like a nice outer loop that'll be great for buses um, so it's, it's really helpful to, to have that but like I said I'm just going to continue to do this now this this does not make sense for a, a city is to have one way into a neighborhood but no other way out because like what happens if something happens here then everyone in here is just stuck so let's go ahead and let's put another exit up here and uh, we'll go ahead and, and kind of just do this thing again where we, we're bringing bringing people down and then I'm gonna want to put this medical facility somewhere where it's kind of like centrally located uh, and again you know this this can all change but that costs a lot of money if you think real world like that that costs a lot of money to do that so for me I you know I, I think I'm gonna put it right right there yeah that, that kind of seems really good for everybody yeah we're, we're kicking someone out of their house which I don't really like to do but you know at the same time that's got really good coverage basically at our whole entire city so we want to we want to do something like that uh, then we we don't have enough money at this time I mean we're making good money weekly but we don't have enough money right yet for an elementary school so once we do we'll just let the simulation run I, I'll just speed it up a little bit so we can get some cash in here I don't like taking loans um, from the get but then we'll plop an elementary school and maybe we'll go up here well look at that we're running into our first problem so as we're growing uh, the demand for power is also growing as well and as you can see we're producing seven but our consumption is between eight and seven uh, so we definitely need to, to get uh, another wind turbine going so I know I said I didn't like to do it but we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're just gonna take this first loan at 20 bucks. We're gonna pop these taxes up by 1% just because we want people to pay us for our loan. <laughs> That's what the government does. And let's uh, let's see if we can find maybe uh, an eight. It's kind of far away. Kind of doesn't make sense. So we'll just go ahead and, and we'll just continue to, to put these right here for now. So we'll just put a second one right there. It gives us 14. We should be good for a while on that. Um, and then we'll look at maybe plopping a more robust power plant. 
All right, it looks like we've got some some areas that are asking for more workers, and we've got a hundred percent demand on our residential. So let's go ahead and just fill these areas in here. And while we're at it, since we've got the money, let's go ahead and put down this cool little elementary school. We'll put it right there. So that'll cover a, a good majority of all of this here, and uh, it kind of will say future proofs for uh, when we are building out here. Oh, and just like that, I forgot to add water to the area. So I want to make. Oh, look at that! We are a worthy village. So we're progressing along pretty well. So we've got access now to our emergency services, which is fire department, police department, some unique buildings. Uh, they draw tourism into the, the town, so that's good. We've got districts with policies, specializations, services. We've got a new area, some specializations that we can look into. All this stuff is great when you're when you're in the end stages of your city and you're starting to, to kind of want to specialize in different areas. And then we've got some new buildings that we are looking at. Like I said, our fire department, police stations, got some mods or some, some you know assets that I downloaded from the workshop for cool firehouses um, that I like to place in different areas of my, of my city. Uh, these are some of the unique buildings uh, that, that we could get and these are the achievements. All right, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue to, to build and grow. I wanna kind of use this area here as kind of a, a we'll call it a buffer between the industrial and residential right now. And we can make this almost like a, a entertainment district or like a commercial district over here that's got some, some you know, cool shops and stuff like that. So um, let, let's kind of look look into doing that. So we'll just bring this down and uh, I don't want to demolish that. So we'll just go to 20 and we'll go five and five. We'll go five and five each way. So this will be kind of cool because, you know, uh, we'll do that. I think we just went to 20 and then five and five. So now we've kind of got this this thing going on here and we'll just we'll let this have access to both sides there. Uh, okay, so let's make sure that we're covered with water. So we just need to add a little bit of pipes here. Let them cover that area. We can add our fire department. That would be kind of cool right there. Maybe I'll go for this small one. Uh, and I don't want to I don't want to kick people out of their houses. Hey, right up the road from me. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll use this one. So we'll just plop that one there. That covers everything here. Makes everybody pretty happy. We don't have access to the Firewatch Tower, which is why everything over here is red. All these trees that catch on fire, and then we don't worry about that. So we got that. Uh, our crime rate is pretty low. We can probably get a jump on it. We're yeah, we're making pretty good money here. We could probably just get this like local, this little local police station. We can just put it maybe just across the street from the fire department. Uh, how are we doing that? How are we covered on that? We've got a uh, really high demand for commercial, so let's go ahead and add some some commercial in here. So uh, let's go ahead and add that. same thing over here. And if it doesn't build up right away, that's perfectly fine. It'll build as we as we need it, and then we'll just kind of uh, do the same thing as we have on this side over here as well. Uh, so that should cover us for a while, and, and we can make this like a cool little, you know, entertainment or commercial district, and uh, we can maybe put a park in here, do some paths to get people walking around. Uh, we just don't have access to that landscaping just yet. We'll get there, though. But we seem to be growing pretty quick. We're losing some people, though. I don't know why. But it is 
is what it is. People come and go from the city. And we're doing it. looks pretty well on traffic. So this is one of the reasons why I love this mod, Traffic Manager. I hate the way that this looks. Like, number one, you would never want people to park on this main route right into your city. So I just come in here and just turn the parking off. And on this road, too, I just think that looks kind of tacky. So I'm just going to turn it off for this section right here. And you can see it made people park at the actual building, which is I think is... That's, that's how it's supposed to look. I don't care if they park on this road right now, and once we upgrade it, you'll see that that'll go away. The parking will go away on that type of road. And then on this, it's an industrial area. People park on the road. You know, okay, have at it. You guys are you guys are fine doing that. But at least for this, it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. I, I like the way that it looks. It kind of makes a little bit less issues for trucks that are doing 360 turnarounds like that. <laughs> so... So we're looking here. I think we can go ahead and continue adding some residential down in here. And like I said, this is just so that we can basically grow our city. We can get, get access to a new area. And then we can really start looking at how we want to lay out the rest of our the rest of our, our worthy village or, or whatever we are right now. Our goal is to hit Metropolis, I think is what we're going to go for. Uh, we want to get as big as we can so like I said I think our next one we don't need to buy it right now we don't have the money to buy it right now but our next one is probably gonna be this one uh, as you can see it's got got some pretty good stuff for us about fifty six hundred dollars we'll just let this run as we're making money we'll go from there uh, but like I said I think what our goal is is as you can see we just go up colossal there's metropolis megapolis that's what we're going megapolis mega Megalopolis, Megalopolis, there we go. So, that's what the goal is, that, that's what I hope that we will hit, that's, that's what we'll shoot for, and then we'll go from there. So we don't have enough money, right yet, let's speed up time, so we make some money. turn down the uh, music volume a bit. I just feel like it's so overpowering sometimes. So those scores are great. They're, you know, they're awesome. And they kind of move along, but you can see we've got a lot of people that are asking for, for workers. It's like a worker shortage or something. So let's get people moving in here. Let's get this get this going. We'll go another 30 up here. Okay, we'll, don't, don't have all the money right now. This is growing pains of a new city. As we as we move forward, uh, we'll uh, we'll get some pretty crazy designs going. I, I live in a neighborhood right now where all the streets are like spaghetti, so it's it's all over the place. I you know we'll, we'll do that definitely. I, I really want some parks. We need to get we're almost there to 1,300 for our next milestone, and uh, it'd be great to have some parks and we can look at some power issues and uh, go from there. See, we're already having some buildings that are abandoned because of not enough workers. That's that's what that was from. If we would leave that, because of that realistic population mod, if we leave this, uh, as time goes on and we get more people in, that'll actually rebuild. But we're just going to delete it. It makes everyone else around the area happier. Uh, we're probably going to have a whole bunch of abandoned buildings here because uh, you can see they're, they're, they're really struggling for workers. But a lot of these other ones have kind of they've kind of per perked up a bit and, and kind of got, gotten to it. You can see our traffic's flowing pretty good. We don't really have any backups or, or issues going on. We're really, really, come on, you can do it. I really want to get to that 1300. Let's 
get some, get some water pipes going. Okay, there's that. We're going to need to address this uh, power shortage. Let's get, uh, get another windmill over here. I think seven's about as good as we're gonna get. Tuck it right in there. That'll save our, our stuff for power. And look at that! We are a tiny town. So, uh, new features are park areas, industry, landscaping. We've got some services, parks and plazas, that's a big one. We're going to definitely capitalize on this fishing industry. We'll, we'll kind of remove probably some of these houses and put them over here and uh, get the fishing industry going in this in this water. Maybe we'll just make this our industry area over here with the uh, stuff over there. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we've got a football. Build a football stadium. Uh, we can build level two unique buildings. We've got some policies for some districts there. And we've got new roads. Oh, yeah. With paths. Get people walking around. We can build a canal. Maybe we put a canal through our city. That would be kind of cool. Uh, got some got some fences. Got some, again, all these parks are opened up. But we got the high school. That'll be good. Let's see what else. So oh, we got a sports hall and gymnasium. We got a freshwater outlet for anything we're overproducing, cool parks and industrial buildings, fish market, yeah. We'll definitely start using some of these. Let's see what else we got. Alright, yeah, that looks great. What's our next milestone? Next milestone is 2400. So I think that that's going to be it for today. We've been going for about 40, about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, Definitely gonna gonna take a look at getting some of these power issues fixed. Uh, those should kind of correct themselves because we've got an excess with those three wind turbines. Maybe uh, next time we'll go into some coal power and uh, look at look at really growing our city. Uh, here shortly we'll be getting access to I think maybe once or three more. So once we get up here we start getting uh, high density so we got three more upgrades to do but once we get to the 7500 we start getting some of this high density stuff and, and you'll just see the town will just explode so uh yeah so i think it looks pretty good so far we'll uh we'll kind of change things up and uh and, and make some make some big moves going forward so uh with with that i think that's gonna be it thanks for watching and like i said at the beginning if you guys enjoyed it uh you know tap that like button hit subscribe uh, i'm hoping to, to maybe upload these maybe once a once a week maybe every weekend we'll get something going hopefully uh get enough people that want to watch so uh thanks for watching and uh have a great one it's jd ham signing off